we are starting our journey from the capital city Reykjavik and our plan is to take highway 1 and that is called ring road and circle the whole country and come back to the city Reykjavik again. For this uh, trip we will spend around 6 days and today we are heading towards Seljaland Falls. From there we will go to Skoga Falls and we will stay tonight at a small village near town Vik. So guys I hope you guys will be with us and follow my next upcoming videos. So guys, we have reached Celia Land Falls. This is only 126 kilometers from Reykjavik and it takes around uh, one hour and uh, 25 minutes to come here. And uh, we have to pay right now here for our parking. This is the parking lot area. And after paying here, we will go close to the falls. It's too much wind here. so. one of the falls where the different movies are uh, being picturized in this falls area and this is really beautiful Falls.
so amazing and uh, very difficult to describe how it is and uh, I hope you could understand but really very very difficult for this guy how big this area is. This is one of the iconic places of the Iceland. My glass is totally wet right now and uh, I can't see it properly if I wear this glass. However, now I am starting to move towards the parking lot and this is the time to say goodbye to this fall.
We have arrived at the Icelandic horse farm. The Icelandic horse is a breed of horse developed in Iceland. These horses look a little bit different than the regular horse, but they are very strong and they can live long. Iceland do not allow import of horses inside the country. So they grow their own horse and they try to use their horse in different purpose. These horses looks very different. So we will try to see this horse right now and enjoy its beauty. I have reached to our accommodation at uh, Vic. So right now I'm standing uh, just uh, beside the city of Vic. It's called Vela. And I found a hotel here. Vic is only uh, 14 kilometers from here. So 10 15 minutes uh, drive. And that's not bad. Basically. This is our hotel. We got our accommodation here. Basically, this is a guest house. But we got a nice room here with washroom and including breakfast. And uh, this building is kind of in the middle of nowhere, uh, just the mountains and that's it. This is the area. This hotel is very neat and clean. We cannot take our shoe inside, we have to leave it here. Welcome to our room near Vic. This city is called uh, Valir. This is just uh, near city with Vic. So this is our room and uh, in this, it's a pretty nice room with a toilet. And this room has accommodation for three people, one, two, and this is another uh, bed here and um, basically this place is kind of in a nowhere like with the mountains and uh, if you see there is nothing only the car park is there and there are mountains just with the mountains and nothing else on the far away you can see the ocean as well this room cost me around uh, 230 I guess 
Canadian dollar and that's it so in this place finding this kind of accommodation is really hard uh, but it's a nice place even this is a guest guest house basically and all the rooms has a shared bathroom but not this one it has a nice washroom so this is the bed and very comfy see so not bad this is our second accommodation in our whole trip and i'll show you my all accommodations uh, during uh, my entire trip Falls at Iceland. This is one hour and 40 minutes from the lake. So windy and uh, rainy right now. So the falls you see behind me is uh, uh, called Koga Falls and it is the most beautiful and amazing falls in Iceland. Still, we can see the beauty of this falls. The water is coming from the glacier and basically this is the river and uh, here the river continues to the ocean. I'm standing under the Stoga Falls. This place is close to the city called Vik. We already booked our hotel and tonight we are going to stay in Vik. Totally wet right now, and as you see, this area behind me is really, really very dangerous, and nobody's coming here. So better to stay safe. So now I'm heading back to the car. It's so cold and totally wet. It's so cold, so windy, so rainy, and also the massive falls. Koga Falls. Koga Falls. Yes. Oh. So how do you like this falls? Oh, yeah. One thing, if you do sunny today, it would be another thing, right? Is it just cloudy? Yes. The waterfall water is flashing at me. Yes. So is the rain. And I'm also very cold for my last trip. Oh. So. Is it beautiful? Yeah. Actually, it's sunny. Anyway, it's still really good. What time is this? Um, so do you want to go finally the surrounding up to the hill? Yeah, we're going up the stairs, those stairs, that track, and we're going to that field. Let's go back to the car. I have made it to come back again at uh, Skoga Falls. See this falls. Uh, it's an amazing view there. On that day when I came, it was uh, raining and the weather was also not good. But today, at least uh, it's not raining but very cold. It's very cold right now, around uh, 4 degrees centigrade. And still uh, a little bit rain is coming. 
uh, I don't know, but uh, this weather is totally unpredictable. But you know, the beauty of this fall is always uh, pull me back here. So this is my second visit here uh, during this trip. Skoga Falls is one of the iconic falls of Iceland. Wherever you see about Iceland, you will see this falls. This falls is so huge and it's falling from uh, top of the mountain and uh, uh, there is a kind of cave behind this falls uh, but there is no way to go behind this falls not necessary to go uh, back of this falls because you know uh, the view is uh, from the front the view is very nice and you know uh, especially the river created by the falls is amazing see the river flowing from the falls mind blowing one thing i need to tell you that you see on the top of the mountain uh, there is the observation depth there there are stairs places there to go to the top of the mountain uh, where you can see the falls falling uh, but uh, like last time uh, today also i'm not going top of the mountain to see the falls i will observe the falls from here and these mountains are made of moss especially during the summer this moss will be more prominent and green and let's go towards the falls I cannot look back, so scary to see. I have nothing to say but to say goodbye to Skoga Falls because we are going back to Toronto tomorrow. I hope I will get a chance anytime in the future so that I can come back again. And uh, for now, I have to say goodbye to Skoga Falls. If you like this video, please thumbs up and. Uh, if you don't subscribe my channel yet, please do so and click the bell icon if you want to be get notified when I upload my next video from my stand. So till then, have a good time and have fun. Bye bye.